How is it going everybody? You're watching Danival Tech and today I have another awesome iPad OS video for you. And this time I'm gonna teach you how you can use any Bluetooth mouse on an iPad. Keep in mind that you can use absolutely any Bluetooth mouse. Uh, I'm using a Magic Mouse right here because it's the only is the only one I have. But you can use a, a Bluetooth mouse from any brand you have. It doesn't matter. It can be any mouse. Another very important information, as I said, you have to be running iPad OS. So right now we are running iPad OS 13, and we're still on a beta, so that's very important. So it has to be iPad OS. If you're running a lower version, it won't work. And the cool part is with iPad OS. 13 uh, we have a native support so we don't need to download anything there's no workaround or hack or anything like that we're just gonna use our settings to set it up and get it to work so let's go ahead and begin so as I said all you have to do is go to our settings and then we're gonna scroll all the way down to accessibility right here and then we're gonna go to touch under physical and motor and then assistive touch as you're seeing right here probably no assistive touch and we have to actually go ahead and turn it on and uh, when we turn it on we're gonna enable this little button right here and as you know assistive touch uh, will allow you to use all the buttons and a lot of functions even the even if you have broken buttons on your iPad or iPhone but we're not gonna use for that so just leave it as it is and now all you have to do is scroll down and go to pointing devices and right here we're gonna see Bluetooth devices and that's where the magic happens. Right now we're gonna need to put our mouse into pairing mode. So uh, depending on the brand you're, you have, check how you put in pairing mode. On the Magic Mouse all you have to do is turn it on. So I'm gonna turn it on right here and we're gonna see the light starting to blink. So we're gonna wait a little bit for it to blink and start the pairing process. Now that it's in pairing mode all you have to do is tap on Bluetooth devices and we're gonna wait for it to show up right here. As you guys can see on the Magic Mouse, it's gonna ask for a pin, so I'm gonna put that pin on, which is 0000, uh, but on others, it can be just, uh, it won't ask for that, maybe you're just gonna tap and it's gonna connect automatically. And as you guys can see, we already we are already connected and we j we're just seeing a little cursor right there. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're now connected. So as I'm moving my mouse, the cursor is moving. So we have action, it is working. And all you have to do is use our mouse normally. So I'm gonna, the left button is gonna be a normal click. So as you guys can see, it is a normal click. So I can uh, go through menus. A very interesting thing is that every time I'm pressing the left button is as if I'm actually touching on the screen, okay, with my finger. So if I'm pressing the button and moving, up and down is gonna move the screen up and down same thing with menus and same thing of course with clicking as I showed you before now let me show you in action so as I mentioned uh, if I click here it recognizes as a touch so it means that I can just from the bottom swipe up and then we're gonna go home uh, you can swipe halfway and you're gonna have your multitasking uh, information you can swipe up from the swipe down from the from the right corner and then you're gonna have your central control center same thing with notifications uh, and it, it pretty much just works normally with your home screen you can just navigate perfectly through iOS just with your mouse and as I as you probably already realized uh, the scrolling option doesn't work uh, this is a touch scrolling option but even if you have a normal scrolling wheel it wouldn't work either okay this is very important so if you are in Safari for example right here it won't work the scrolling so you actually have to touch and scroll down as if you're using your finger okay this is important um, uh, this is a shame actually but this is how it works so we have a lot of customization right here and I want to start with customizing the buttons themselves all right so how does that work if I go to uh, pointing devices again so I was here at pointing devices and if I tap and if I actually click on my connected devices my mouse right there uh, I'm gonna see here how the buttons are mapped so button one which is the left button is a single tap so that's why it is a click or a single tap that's why I can move it around it is it's just a recognizes as a tap on the screen and button 2 is the dock so if, I, if I'm pressing the right button as you guys are seeing right here you're gonna see that I'm gonna invoke the dock so these are the buttons I like the most this is the uh, arrangement I like the most so the magic mouse only has two buttons button 1 and button 2 as you guys can see left and right but depending on your mouse you can have like five or six buttons like side buttons stop buttons and things like that so if your mouse have, has more buttons you're gonna see all the buttons right here so you can arrange to go home you can arrange to pull down the notification center the control center so you're gonna have many many buttons and many many controls here without having to actually go around and pulling things and 
and, and, and pulling things down and up around. So this is very, very interesting as well. Another very interesting thing is that we're gonna have the assistive touch right here. Um, so if we click on the assistive touch, we have a lot of buttons and options. So we can always have this menu right here, which can be very, very handy. But if you don't like that on our screen, we can go back here to assistive touch and uh, disable it, this option right here. Allow, always show menu. So if you disable that, when we have a point in device connected, it's gonna be, it's gonna completely disappear, it's gonna vanish. So I like this option because uh, we're gonna clear the screen a little bit. We also have tracking speed. So this is interesting. Of course, as you guys can see, I'm just moving a little bit and it's super sensitive. It's actually, actually hard to grab on this little handle, hand. Uh, and then of course, I'm gonna leave it as it was halfway because this sensitivity is great, I love it. Uh, we also have more options, we have cursor, so we have the option to make it even larger, which is just a little bit ridiculous if you ask me. Uh, and we also have the option to change the color, so we can change colors right here, so we can customize a little bit, uh, so we have these options. So these are the main important options. So that's pretty much it, guys. These are all the features with a mouse. You can do this to draw, you can use this to play games, to use anything. I love this implementation. I think it's gonna get even better through time. I'm sure it will, but for now, this is just beta one, the first version, and I already think this is awesome. So stay tuned for more iPad OS content, for more iPhone content, and for more Apple Universe content. Uh, make sure to, to subscribe, and I'll be back in a bit. Bye-bye.